Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everybody to Miss Glow's Kitchen where the sugar, spice, and everything nice where we slice, dice, and entice using everything we can from peppers to allspice. What's up my people? Y'all know what time it is? See y'all in the kitchen. Orange McDreamy is on our drink menu today. I'm going to tell you what you need to make this drink, but I'm going to tell you why, why I call it an Orange McDreamy in a minute. As soon as you hit that like, subscribe, that share button, hit that bell for notifications so you'll be one of the first ones to know when I put up a new video. And if you're returning, thank you for watching. Here's what you need right there in your face. White rum, any kind of rum you want to use. I use the Four Freedom Silver Rum. You can use any kind of rum you want to. Grenadine, pineapple crush soda or pop as I call it. Pineapple crush. Lemonade, maraschino cherries, and make sure you have yourself a tall glass and some ice cubes. And from there, we're about to make the Orange McDreamy. But before that, y'all know what I always say. Ain't nothing to do about to do it, so let's get to it. How about a half a cup of that white rum? A half cup of white rum. Yes, look at that. Ooh, wait. <laughs> Wish y'all could smell it, baby. A half a cup of white rum. Now then, half cup of that pineapple crush, half cup of that. Now then on to the next thing, a half a cup of lemonade. You can make your own lemonade if you want to. Half a cup of lemonade. Mm-hmm. All right, so now I'm getting a one teaspoon scoop and first thing I want to do here is I'm going to put in one teaspoon of grenadine but whenever I'm making drinks I'm always looking for a certain flavor but usually I'm looking for a certain color as well so here I'm going to stir up that one teaspoon of grenadine you're going to see I'm looking at it mm -mm, not quite the color I want so I'm going to put another teaspoon of grenadine in so I'm going to put a total of two teaspoons of grenadine and then I guarantee you one thing this drink is perfect. Now, I call it a McDreamy. You know why? Because that white rum, baby, if you drink enough of these, anybody going to start looking like a McDreamy to you. <laughs> Till you turn the lights on. <laughs> that's a whole different story, but that's why I call it an orange McDreamy, baby. Because you can look at somebody and dream <laughs> that they look like who you want them to look like. But I ain't going to trip on that. <laughs> the comments about that. Okay, let me tell you something. So I'm getting a tall glass here. And the reason why I'm getting a tall glass is because uh, I made enough of it so that uh, <laughs> I get nice and toasty off this. So that's why I say, I tell you why I call it the Orange McDreamy. Because first of all, it's in a tall glass so you get enough of it. So that you get you a little buzz off this. You get you, nah, you get you a nice buzz off this. Trust me, you do. You don't get drunk. Drunk, but you get a nice buzz off it so you, you get a good feel. I like a drink that gives me a good feeling. So I like a drink I can have fun, you know, while I'm drinking it. So this is one of those drinks. It's kind of like a drink you can have a little fun with. So that's kind of cool. All right, so into our tall glass with ice this time. So I put ice in this one. So, all right. Off to the side, I'm gonna put some maraschino cherries on a toothpick. But this one, I kind of like thought this one was a little bit of fun, so. What I did with this one is I ended up putting uh, an orange slice on it. Now, later on, I did. I put a pineapple on it, but you can see I put one of those orange slice candies on it. So, if you're out with somebody, you're out with somebody sweet, you don't want your breath smelling like liquor, these little candies, these little slices, they're fruit slices, but they're actually minty. So, if you eat it, you actually get a minty taste on your breath. So, you can finish this drink, and you can eat that candy, and you can have your, your breath your breath to be fresh enough to kiss. <laughs> Baby, I'm tired of calling this McDreamy for a reason because it is dreamy. Yes, indeed. So, okay. So, I'm going to show you um, in a minute. I'm going to put the uh, the maraschino cherries on it because I put the uh, the orange slice on it. And then I'm going to show it to you from the side. It's a beautiful drink. It's a really beautiful drink. Orange, but it tastes very good. It's not overwhelming with orange. It's perfect, actually. So, so it, it, the pineapple crush, the lemonade, and the white rum, they all balance out each other. So it's the same amount of, of each one of them, but they all balance out each other so good that this is a nice drink, very quick. So if you're bartender for the night, this is a quick one, even amounts of everything except that grenadine, which you're going to put 
two teaspoons in. So if you've got everything already right there, you can fix these drinks in a matter of minutes and have them rolling out uh, from your bar or whatever. So you the bartender, baby, you got this. So look at that. Isn't that cute? I'm telling you, that's really cute. So as I start drinking the drink, of course, my, my cherries, you know, they went down in my drink. So, you know, when they go down in the drink like that, they suck the liquor up. So if you eat, you know, your maraschino cherries after that, you got your nice little uh, liquor taste on them, too. So, <laughs> got this. This is a wonderful drink. Got the holidays coming up. So check out my Thirsty Thursdays um, playlist on here. I'm sure you'll find a drink you like. I'm positive you will. There's something on there for everybody. So it doesn't matter if you drink dark, light, or brandy. Doesn't matter. I'm going to find something on there that everybody likes. All right. Check that out, everybody. All right. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. As always, I appreciate you. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.